guys are having a great day so far. So today I'm gonna talk about living, living life after cancer or what I would call the big C. So as I would say, of course living life after cancer is different. It's not the same as anybody my age, but that's what makes it so special, so different in a way. Another facet of living life for me right now is the fact that I've shared my story on my social media sites with others. And one of the persons that I've met through that is Wei Ching here, who is a lymphoma cancer survivor. Similar to my age, actually was one of the readers who read my story and reached out to me, right Wei Ching? Yes. So how did my story help you? It's actually through your blog. I was inspired and I wanted to share my story to inspire the rest. Those cancer patients as well as their, their caregivers to actually boost their spirit. At least I mean, I, when I was going through the cancer journey, I know that I'm not alone. I have Maisie. Her story actually inspired me and gave me the hope to carry on fighting this battle. As I don't feel alone going through this, I know that there's another person going through the same thing as me. I meditate every day before I head out. That prepares me for the day. The way I eat is different. I make sure I eat small meals six times a day. And most importantly, I listen to my body. If I don't feel something's right, I don't eat it. If I feel tired, I sleep. So both of us want to share our stories out to all of you so that you can tell us more because we want you not to feel alone. If you're going through anything, be it cancer or anything else, we don't want you to go through it alone, that other people out there are going through it with you as well. Always remember that. So if you want to share with us or share with other people as well, comment below, comment on your social media, hashtag share strength and remember to live each moment as it comes.